Hello everyone and welcome to Network Playroom. In this video, we're going to discuss the OSPF Type 3 and Type 4 LSAs, or the Network Summary LSA, which is Type 3, and the ASBR Summary LSA, which is Type 4. So why are we discussing them in the same video? Well, simply because they have an identical format, except for a few fields, but otherwise the LSA format is exactly the same. So the type 3 and 4 LSAs are actually called just summary LSAs in the RFC, but commonly people refer to them as the summary LSA and ASBR summary LSA to differentiate them and to indicate their different purposes. So the type 3 summary LSA is used to advertise inter-area routing information to other areas the ABR is connected to. And this is referred to as a summary LSA because the ABR is effectively advertising summarized information outside the area. Now recall that OSPF does not share full topological information outside the area, which is why this LSA is called a summary. The type 4 a ASBR summary LSA is used to advertise the presence of an ASBR to other areas. And this LSA is basically used to announce the existence of an ASBR. And the type 4 LSA actually ties together with type 5 LSA, which we'll look at in the next video. So these LSAs, the type 3 and 4, are originated by area border routers. And again, the only difference in field contents is the type and link state ID fields. So these two fields are the only ones that are different. But we'll look at them shortly. So the type 3 summary LSAs are used when the destination is an IP network. And in this case, the LSA's link state ID field is an IP network. And when the destination is an ASBR, the type 4 L summary LSA is used, and the link state ID field is the ASBR's OSBF router ID. And yeah, those are really the only differences. So other than the link state ID field, and the type field, the format of the type 3 and 4 summary LSAs is identical. So let's jump to the fields here. So again, there's going to be that common LSA header, which is identical for all different LSA types. So basically, this part here, other than those two fields. So then the link state ID for type 3 LSAs is the IP address of the network or subnet being advertised. And if the LSA is type 4, the link state ID is the router ID of the ASBR being advertised. And the network mask is the subnet mask of the network being advertised in type 3 LSAs. So this field, and in type 4 LSAs, this field has no meaning and it is set to 0, .0, .0, .0. And then the metric field is the cost of the route to this destination. And then these other fields, the TOS fields, the TOS and TOS metric fields are optional and were discussed in the router LSA video. Again, Cisco supports only TOS, which is equal to zero. So now let's summarize the information here. So for type three summary LSA, the link state ID field is the network number. So a network or subnet. The 
being advertised. And then the network mask is the subnet mask for that network. But for type 4 ASBR summary LSA, so these fields are slightly different. So the link state ID field is the router ID of the ASBR. And then the network mask field is set to 0 .0 0.0.0.0, like that. But now let's look at a packet capture so you can see this information in detail. So again, I have the packet capture from packetlife.net open here um, called OSPF LSA types. So let's open up this link state update packet so we can see the list of different LSA types. So now we're going to look at type number three and four. So let's just go over these really quickly. So here you can see the LS type is a summary LSA. The link state ID, so remember that this is the network number, so it's 192.168.10.0. It is advertised by router 4.4.4.4. And the net mask is 255.255.255.0. And here is the metric. So those are the most important fields in this type of LSA. So there were a couple of other summary LSA, so let's look at those as well. So similarly, the LSA type, the network number, the advertising router, the network mask, and the metric. So we've got discussed the other fields like the sequence number and the check summing length in the LSA header video. That's why I'm jumping over them. So here again, summary LSA, the network number in the link state ID field, the advertising router, the network mask, and the metric. Now, memorize these fields a little bit so you can see in the next LSA, which is a type 4 LSA, that these fields are identical, only the content will change in the link link state ID field and the net mask field. So let's go over to that one. And here, as you can see, the link state ID is now the router ID of the ASBR. And the net mask is set to 0, .0, .0, 0 0.0.0.0. And again, here's the metric and the advertising router. But this is why I wanted to cover them in the same video because the format is really identical. Okay, but next, uh, let's jump to Cisco documentation so you can see what this these LSAs would look like on the command line. So the network summary LSAs in a router's database can be observed with the command show IP OSBF database summary and ASBR summary LSAs can be observed with show IP OSBF database ASBR summary. So let me scroll down a little bit. You can see that this command has a lot of options. So let me scroll down and find the type three and four LSAs. So here you can see this one is the type four ASBR summary LSA. And 
essentially you can see the same information here. So let me see if I can highlight this. So here you can see the router ID of the ASBR. And again, the network mask field is set to 0, .0, .0, 0, 0. And here is the metric. And of course, here the type of LSA is indicated. So that was type number four. Let's see if we can find type number three. Um, there we go. So this is the summary LSA. So yeah, here you can see that this is the type three LSA and the link state ID is the network number. And here is the subnet mask and again, the metric. So you can really see all the same information on the command line as we just looked at in the packet capture. So one final thing, let me just quickly show you the RFC. So as mentioned, really, these are called summary LSAs, but commonly they are referred to as the summary LSA and ASBR summary LSAs. And this is really the same diagram that I showed you previously. But yeah, that's it for this video. Thank you again for watching and I'll see you in the next video.